Um, Sorry, let me interrupt you here. Yes. We got to, there we go. Okay. I had us, uh, I had a flip switched and now we are good to go. As, yeah. as you were saying, can we, yeah, let's, yeah. let's take it from the top. We're taking a look at camping gear. Um, scams going on right now. Yeah, where, where does that start? What's, what's, what happens about this time of year with that? Right, so it's the end of the year. Um, families are getting ready for back to school. There's gonna be a ton of people trying to fit in that last minute end of season camping, hiking, outdoor trip. Yeah. So you're gonna see a lot of sales pop up. Um, and so the BBB has kind of put together a list of tips to help you get the best deals and get the safest deals um, during the season. That's good, yeah. Um, and you know, there, there's some of those things and I think, you know, wanted to, to just touch on some of those essentials of what people are, are going to be needing if they plan to go camping or anything like that. Um, because that's probably going to be where they see the most, uh, either sales or, or potential scams, right? Something like that. Yes. Um, the essentials are a great thing. And me personally, I use a list from the National Park Service. Um, they've actually put together a list for you of 10 essentials. Um, these are things like illumination, insulation, hydration, just normal things that you should go through and make sure you have before you leave for any camping trip. So I just stick mine on my fridge and make sure before I take off, I throw that bag in the car and we're ready to go. All right, that uh, seems like a good, good rule of thumb. Always good to have those uh, handy little uh, uh, metrics and so forth of, of how to uh, approach something like that and always to be safe with it and, and all of those uh, different different details that you need to get lined out whenever you're getting into something like this right yeah yes. and um, so with all of that in mind as we're, we're looking at the sales scams what do people need to be aware of what's what's important to keep keep track of in this economy so during the season, um, you know, if you see something, as we've talked about before, and it seems too good to be true, it, it most likely is. Sure. Um, so I really recommend, you know, do some research on these companies. If you're not going to go in person to um, a camping or hiking gear dealer and you're going to shop online, it's going to be the same practices as you would do with any online shopping. So go to BBB.org, look at that business profile, look at the customer reviews and complaints, see how they deal with their customers and see if that's a business that you want to support. Sure. And you can actually do the very same thing with in-person gear as well. Um, you can look at that business, see how they dealt with their customers and see if you'd like to support them. And I also recommend looking at return policies as oh, well sure. on any gear that you purchase. Yeah. Always very important. Just, you know, you know, always, always, always good to have a backup, you know, to, yes. to be absolutely certain. Uh, yeah. Anything else to, to mention today uh, before we wrap up? Yeah. Um, so definitely this end of season, you know, we're talking about deals and prices. Um, your budget is always something you want to take into consideration. Gear adds up really quickly. Um, so do some research. Look at reviews. Look at reviews of business profiles. Look at hiking reviews of different gear. See what held up to the tests, what they liked. And then definitely do your research before you make a big purchase or see if you can borrow that item. Yeah. Um, you know, and also you can rent items, skis, things like that. See if there's a rental place close as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Frugality is a virtue that I have uh, learned the hard way sometimes. And so right? <laughs> it's, it's always, always a good thing to uh, keep uh, in mind those opportunities to, to cut some of those costs and yes. all that. Yeah. Anything else today to mention, um, you know, where can people find the BBB and report scams and, and the like? Yeah, so um, BBB.org, that's going to be your home base for everything. And you can actually report scams right there at BBB.org. We have our scam tracker. And you can also look up scams in your area. So if something seems a little bit off, look and see if there's been a similar scam that someone in your area has been dealing with. And it may help you avoid losing money. All right. Sydney Waters at, with the BBB. She's the regional director. Sydney, thank you so much for being here today. appreciate your time. Thank you. Good to see you as always. Oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. 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 And to our audience as well, thank you all for being here, spending the time here with us um, on the local uh, or on your local news uh, channel, KFVS digital channel. I uh, hope you all will stick around. We're going to turn it back over to our sister stations with local news live streaming from around the country. Uh, we will be back later on today. Heartland News now at four o'clock. You can watch it right here. All those locations you see at the bottom of your screen.